Okay, so what we are looking at today, Desmos is calling a uh, box plot. Uh, that's what it's labeled throughout. Ooh, I need a thinner pen, that's way too thick. Um, I have also seen this called a box and whiskers plot. And you will see that when you see these, there's almost always, or there is always a box with a line in it. And then there's always a line from the front of it and the back of it. And if you notice when you're looking at that, it's divided into four sections. And each section is a quarter. And we know that four quarters make a whole. <laughs> Aiden, I just saw your um, comment. We can talk more about I ready later. So each quarter of this is one fourth of the data that's included in whatever data is being shown. This here, the box itself, is called the inner quartiles. And a quartile is just a fancy word of talking about the quarters of the data, each fourth of the data. Anybody want to guess what the line here in the middle is? Of It's not actually the middle, but the line that goes inside the box here. It's okay, Joanne, I know it's such an unusual thing to look at. Matthew, that's a great guess. This is the median. So this is 25% of the data. This is 25% of the data. This is 25%. And this is 25%. Notice that doesn't mean they're all even, right? There looks like there's more data in this 25% than there is in this 25%. There's not, there's still 25%. This just is more spread out. So if this was like zero and this was 40, the space between here is a bigger gap than here. So this might be zero to 10, and this might be 25, and this might be 30. So that all of the data that falls in the smallest space is 25% of the data, but it's only difference in counting it is like 25 to 30. So let's say we went to a park on a sunny day and we asked the ages of all of the people who were there this would, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And I'm not great at undoing things on my iPad. This section here that we're saying is from 25 to 30 would be the ages of people who were within the ages of 25 to 30 versus over here, 30 to 40 would be this bigger space, but there's still the same number of people that are between 25 and 30 as the same number of people between 30 and 40 and zero and 10, we're just taking and we're spreading it out. So now let's go back and take a look at this screen that you were all just looking at. This is the same set of data. When I'm looking at it, can we tell easily what the median is. Where is the middle of this data? Well, the middle of the data is going to be right here, where this line is. And it's above 10.
We can also tell, knowing now that this is 25%, and so is this little tiny box here, and so is this line. Each of these sections is 25% of the data, but you can see in the dot plot where the exact pieces of data are. Like I said with my example earlier, if we asked people to park what their ages were, we could see the clumps of it, but we wouldn't know exactly like between 30 and 40, was it, you know, four 32 year olds? Was there a 39 year old? We don't know if we're looking at a box plot, but we do know the exact data when we're looking at a dot plot. So they both have their advantages. Uh, can you look at this top box plot and think back to my example here from earlier that it's called a box plot by Desmos here, but some places you'll see it called a box and whiskers plot. Do you see where the nickname box and whiskers comes from? Here's the box, and this and this are the whiskers. So down below, I talked about an inner quartile. This is often referred to as the lower quartile. This can be referred to as the third quartile. So I think that that should give you enough information, trying to cram in a bunch of stuff we missed out on because we missed some of sixth grade math last year uh, so that you can be successful on trying the rest of this Desmos. I'm gonna change what I'm sharing screen wise. So what you see here is it says revisiting the median and the interquartile range. I want you to know that this seventh grade math activity uh, was created with the idea in mind, like I said earlier, that you've learned a little bit of this in sixth grade math. So if you're stuck, please put information in the chat on where you need my support. Um, I've taught this from scratch for people who've never seen it before, um, but this does most of setup thinking you have some earlier knowledge. Um, IQR stands for inner quartile range, and the range is from the bottom of it to the top of it. So when you're asked about the range of this data, for the whole data set, it would be from the bottom to the top. And the inner quartile range would be covering from here to here. So just play with the vocabulary as we're going. I'm gonna open up screens three, four, and five, where we'll end with a card sort and we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, so something else that I think that we've missed because we've just, we had so much we missed from sixth grade. And I know that Mr. Kraft has gone over with you all what a mean, median, and mode is. But can you let me know in the chat what you know about the word range as far as data goes? I'm gonna add a sheet here. So we have mean, we have median, mode. Those are words you're all familiar with. Mean is our average. Median is in the middle.
and mode is the one that happens the most often. Range, maximum, and minimum are other words that we use when we're describing data. And, and box plots can tell us a lot about the range. And it can also instantly tell us the maximum and the minimum. The maximum is the highest piece of data. Notice that that's different from most. Most would be if I surveyed 25 kids and 15 of them told us it takes them 10 minutes to get to school, that would be the most. But somebody takes 28 minutes to get to school, that would be the highest. So most and highest are not the same thing. Minimum is the lowest piece of data. And they do have to do with range, so I'm not forgetting about that question. So this is the minimum. This is the maximum. This is the middle. And that's interesting in this box plot because that doesn't look like it's in the middle. Typically, if I was going to look at a middle of something from here to here, it would be about here. But we're not looking at the middle of where the numbers are from the maximum to the minimum or the lowest to the highest. We're looking at where the middle of the data falls. And that's a very different thing the box plot is looking at. What the range is, is looking at the distance between the maximum and the minimum. So if I look here, this looks like it's at a what, about 27? And this looks like it's at four. So the range for all this data is 27 minus four is 23. How can I find the inner quartile range? Well, that looks like it's at, what, seven? And this looks like it's at about 13. So 13 minus seven, this looks to me like our inner quartile range is six. It's the distance between the bottom number and the top number in the section that we're looking at. So I'm going to pause and see if there's any other questions before I um, stop talking and let you guys continue forward. <laughs> 